Welcome back. This is part three of our spring cruise to Desolation Sound. We spent the first night in a small cove off the lagoon in Vondonup Inlet. The chain had been banging all night and we decided we were going to move on deeper into the cove. Unfortunately, we both came down with a cold and realized that we had absolutely nothing on board to make us feel better. So we spent today enjoying the sun and then decided to head for Rebecca Spit. Somewhere in Harriet Bay, we'd find something to make us feel better. I called ahead to the Harriet Bay Inn and Marina, but they weren't open for the season yet. We knew that Taku Resort had cheap rates in the off season, so I gave them a call and there was plenty of room at the dock. So we tied up, headed into the grocery store, grabbed a bunch of drugs, and moved on to the Harriet Bay Inn to enjoy a beer and a burger and a night off. Soon enough we realized that if we were going to be sick, it made more sense to be sick somewhere beautiful than tied up to a dock. So we decided to cast off and make the short journey up to Octopus Islands. After checking the tide tables, we realized that we could leave early in the morning, fuel up, and spend some time at the tiny community of Surgeon Arrows before crossing through the rapids and ending up at Octopus Islands. first couple of days, it just rained, but we weren't feeling all that well, so it was fine. We sat below, read, stayed warm, and basically recovered. When we pulled into Octopus Islands, we were the only ones there once again. A little later, we were joined by three more boats. I was feeling better a little sooner than Leslie, so I went out for a row and to try out my camera underwater again. It was beautiful, overcast, but the light was gorgeous, and soon we were feeling better. After a couple of days, we decided we were going to take off again. We'd heard that the Toba Wilderness Resort at the mouth of the Toba Inlet was a beautiful place and quiet at this time of year, so we made that our day's destination. This meant we would have to transit through Hole in the Wall, another set of tidal rapid, this time one we'd never gone through before. It all went pretty smoothly, and there really wasn't much traffic except for a bunch of fishing boats that were always going the other way. It was a calm day, there was absolutely no wind, so we were in for a long motor. The scenery was stunning and we enjoyed ourselves immensely as we cruised through territory we'd never seen before. Later we got within radio range and I called in, but apparently Toba was not even open for the season. We'd gotten some bad information. So we decided to head south, back towards Prito Haven, and try out Laura Cove. Once again when we arrived, we had the place all to ourselves. That pretty much rounds up our third week on the water. It was time to start contemplating heading south because we needed to be back in Nanaimo in just a few more weeks. <laughs> 